in Anaheim, California. This is day two of Convention TV at NAMM. Hello everyone, I'm Jill Nicolini for Testa's Convention TV at NAMM. This TV program is brought to you each day of the show with a new production every day. Our reporters are on the show floor of the convention center with you, bringing you the latest information. And of course, we are joined by Melora Donahue, who does all of our on-site broadcasts. Hey, Melora, what have you got to kick off today's show? Jill, you know we always save the opening news story for something that we believe will be of interest to both manufacturers and dealers alike. Today we have just the story. So we know that Guitar Center isn't exactly viewed as a friend of the independent music retailer, and their latest move has been swirling around the music industry all month. Guitar Center sent a letter to its vendors basically saying that it won't necessarily abide by map pricing any longer, and it stated its reasons for the need to remain competitive. But it seems that when customers find out that their local music store charges prices in line with MAP, that they prefer to support their local retailer than Guitar Center. Now, from Guitar Center's perspective, they're just doing what they have to do, but it's certainly not winning them any friends. So we'll be keeping you updated on this story here at the show and also, of course, in the Music and Sound Retailer Magazine. Back to you, Jill. Thanks, Melora. Let's get into more news right away. There is so much going on at PV, it's hard to choose what to cover. We selected the PV headliner rack mountable bass amplifier head with matching enclosures in the PV Tour series. So the headliner, bass amp, what do I need to know? The headliner is PV's introduction into the lightweight bass amp market. Um, we just tried to put as, pack as many features in there as we could. It's got a really powerful EQ. It's got PV's uh, DDT speaker protection limiter. Um, it has a built-in optical compressor, uh, built-in pre-post DI, and we also have the headliner cabs to match. Okay, you guys, I have discovered an amazing piece of technology and a guitar over here at the PV booth. Hartley, can you tell them, start me off, tell me, tell me what I need to know about this guitar. There have been a number of people that offered electronic gizmos on guitars. Uh, uh, they've tried to, you know, have automatic tuning guitars and with all kinds of crazy electronic circuits and buttons and dials. Uh, we wanted something that was useful and simple and looked exactly like a guitar. Well, the coolest thing, obviously, is this guitar tunes itself. There's no mechanical moving parts at all, except normal tuning machines on a guitar, uh, normal bridge mechanisms, and obviously this guitar is out of tune right now. Doesn't sound very good. All I do is push a button, push that button in tune. Push another button, drop D. Back to E. So I mean, it's 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 a normal guitar, but perfect tune. Not only is it perfectly in tune, it's perfectly intonated all the way up the neck, regardless of the saddle positions. Presonus has announced several new and updated products, including QMix. Up to 10 musicians can simultaneously control their Presonus Studio Live monitor mixes using an iPhone or iPod Touch and Presonus QMix app. We started off with the iPad app, which gives us full control over the whole family of Studio Live mixers. We wanted to give a little less control or just headphone mix or cue mix control to uh, the artists on stage. So we wanted to put it on the iPhone, we wanted to put it on the iPod Touch. So if I'm on channel 7 is my guitar and then say channel 13 is my vocal, I've selected me. When I go back here, what I want to do is turn landscape mode and I can see my aux mix. So I see all of the channels that I could send to my mix. So I want some kick, some snare, maybe a little bass guitar. And obviously I need to turn up me and my vocal, right? So now that's my band mix or the overall band mix, which is actually happening here. That's the band. This is me. Now once I've got that set up, all I have to do is pull the you know, phone or iPod touch out of my pocket. If I need more me, I roll the wheel up and I get more me. The R26 portable recorder from Roland is a handheld device that provides up to six simultaneous channels of pro quality audio recording to SD, SDHC media. 
It has two types of built-in stereo mics, XLR, TRS combo inputs, and USB audio interface. You can set everything up from a nice little touch screen that works even in the most bright environments. You have an external mic ap application also for binaural headphones or lavalier attachments. It records in broadcast wave, MP3, and AIFF. It can simultaneously record AIFF and MP3s or MP3s and waves at the same time. The AutoSense feature basically optimizes the input levels for you during recordings. You can simply press AutoSense, it'll start adjusting its level according to the level that it's sensing. Right now it's monitoring all the action that's going on in the booth. It has us enter in the level, we hit enter, it's recommending a setting which is 52. So we can basically dial in our setting which is about where it is right now, and then we hit OK, and it optimizes all of our levels and it's showing you every one of the elements. Mackie's new DL1608 Digital Live Sound Mixer brings pro-level features to working musicians. It combines the power of a full-featured 16-channel digital live mixer with the control of an Apple iPad. We can slide it out and use it wirelessly. I can walk around the room, tune my monitors, see here how it's going to sound at anywhere in the venue, make all the changes I want to do from anywhere in the room. And from a hardware standpoint, we have everything from a digital mixer you'd expect. And I can easily navigate my input channels, adjust faders, mutes. I can hit my EQ curve, and now I can easily adjust my channel EQ, pinch to adjust Q, swipe up, comp, gate, effects, Everything is just at my fingertips. Hey, we told you there were lots of anniversaries at this NAM, and here's a biggie. Fender is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Jaguar. Did I just say 50 years? Wow. Melora? That's a fact, Jill. The Jaguar is 50 years young. Fender is celebrating by introducing the 50th anniversary Jaguar model. The instrument first launched in 1962 was a staple for the surf bands, the safaris, the chantays. The tide went out on the surf thing. 70s, 80s came in, punk bands, the kind of the post-punk and the, the indie jangle alt bands really found this as an offbeat, kind of a cool alternative instrument to their dad's strap. And it's just enjoying an amazing period of rediscovery uh, for musicians. And we're really proud to have it in the line. And we've got a bunch of different models. The anniversary model I'm holding there's a Kurt Cobain, a Johnny Marr. Uh, it's, just a, it's just an awesome time to celebrate the anniversary of the Jaguar. But it's my understanding that we might have a pic of you from when this guitar first came out. What do you think about that? I think that's disturbing, but I hope it's not like a yearbook picture and maybe a baby picture from 50 years ago. You'll have to find out. We'll have more news from almost 20 more companies, and that's just for today. Please stay with us. JBL Professional is premiering the VTX V25, its new flagship full-size line array system featuring differential drive cone transducers and the revolutionary new D2 dual compression driver. JBL is also launching the PRX400 series for portable PA and installed sound applications. Stop by and see more from JBL at booth 7800. Advance your art with the Rain 61 and 62. Turntablism is alive and more creative than ever with the release of two revolutionary two-channel DJ mixes from Rain, the Rain 61 and 62. Experience them both at the Rain Stand. Also available, the Z-Trip Limited Edition 62Z. Body Beat Sync, the most versatile metronome available. Create any rhythmic pattern possible as an audio metronome or as a silent pulsating metronome. Wirelessly synchronize multiple metronomes up to 100 yards. Peterson Booth, 5990. DDJ Ergo. Play out more. Check out Pioneer DJ at booth 5810.
I just have to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of our over 5,000 viewers each month who watch the Music and Sound Retailers V newsletter. That's right, our viewership is well over 5,000 twice monthly. And that's not even counting the tens of thousands who check us out on YouTube. We are really proud to bring V newsletter twice a month to your desktop, smartphones, and whatever's next. You know, we'll be there. Remember, Tester Communications has been doing TV at NAM for over 25 years. I guess that makes them either crazy or some may think visionaries. In either case, we are honored to bring you these programs. Thanks so much. DR Neon acoustic guitar strings are super bright, color-coded phosphor bronze strings. The strings feature the new K3 technology coating. They are 100% black light active, so they glow strongly under UV lighting. DR's new K3 coating lasts at least nine times longer than previous DR coatings. The K3 coating will not strip away, peel, or come off under any tested playing condition. They're great to play. They add a little showmanship to the whole uh, entourage. And not only that, we've also encouraged dealers to put them in their windows at night with a UV light. And that draws new customers, stops people in their tracks. The four track from Newmark has been grabbing attendee attention here at NAM. It's a four deck digital DJ controller with built in four channel mixer and comprehensive effects console. Newmark and Native Instruments have been collaborating for the past year on developing the four track, and the four track's been designed to take advantage of all the latest features that you find in, in Native Instruments in, in the tractor software. Uh, so things such as the looping and the sampling and all the effects and all those other kinds of things. With the four track, you're going to find yourself with a really solid controller. It's made out of metal, it's got 36 ticks of resolution per rotation of the wheel. You won't find a better built controller for using with your tractor software. This company's product is so new, they first opened the boxes up here at the show yesterday. Melora caught up with the folks at Eggnator to see what this new product launch is all about. Hey Jill, we all know about Eggnator and their custom amplifiers, and at this year's show, they are introducing their high gain series. But primarily, I'm here to talk about their entrance into the pedal market. And fortunately, I have Mr. Bruce Eggnator himself with me. Bruce, the pedal market, how, how did this come to be? Talk to me about this. Well, I've been fooling with pedals for a long time, and it was a natural progression to go from amplifiers to pedals. Obviously, they work together. And our thought was to make the coolest things we could make. So instead of an entire line of stuff, we concentrated on two really great overdrive pedals that are just the culmination of years of fooling around as a guitar player. Tama is showcasing a competitive collection of specialized snare drums called SLP, that Sound Lab project. The lineup of eight snares is made up of four wood shells and four metal shells. The wood shells are called Classic Maple, Power Maple, G Babinga, and G Maple. Terry, I'm hearing all about the Sound Lab project. What is this? It's a brand new snare drum line. We took the time to take all the individual parts of a snare drum, put them together as a unit. We have eight very distinct models for musical styles. Basically, four wood and four metal. So if you're playing a funk gig or a fusion gig or a metal gig or a jazz gig, we've taken the time to put the right snare drum together for you. The metal shells are called Vintage Steel, Sonic Steel, Super Aluminum, and Black Brass. The snare drum models all vary in assorted features. These include depth, shell thickness, and hoop design. Therefore, each produces a very distinct sound. We'll be on board and on point right after this. Please stay tuned. Novation is now shipping Impulse, their new range of professional USB MIDI controllers. With eight rotary encoders, full transport control, a large LCD, and 55 millimeter faders, it looks and feels great. See Novation's Impulse in booth 6464. The RCF Group, over 60 years of making things sound great. See the all-new and original Kaler guitar and bass bridges for all flat top and arch top guitars, including standard scales, fan frets, and multi-scale engineering. Also see the limited edition Kerry King Signature Bridge at Kaler Booth 5727. Hey! Hey you! Over here! Yeah, yeah, over here! Here I am! Now try to do that with an ad in the daily. See it, hear it. TV works. 
B-52 is launching a wide range of high-powered active speaker systems with BBE technology built in. Exclusively found on B-52 speakers, BBE's Sonic Maximizer takes awesome sound to the next level. Come hear the B-52 magic at booth 5952 in Hall B. Born in the age of boundary-breaking guitar virtuosity, we didn't invent the electric. We invented electrifying. Celebrating 25 years. Booth number 4634. Ibanez. We're going to test out PowerWorks PA with the aviators. And we're going to rock this place. The PowerWorks PW100TPA system combines quality, performance, and convenient features in a highly portable and affordable package. The four 4.5-inch speakers and high-frequency driver provide just the right combination of high and mid-range sound, and the PowerWorks PW112S features a 200-watt RMS power rating for serious low-end in a compact format. Come check out the PowerWorks PA system for yourself at Hanser's Booth 4868 in Hall C. Welcome back to Convention TV at NAM. This program is independently produced by Testa Communications, the publisher of the music and sound retailer, DJ Times, and Sound and Communications magazines. The retailer's editor, Dan Farisi, works tirelessly with his staff to get the shows written for these broadcasts. And I think it's also important to note that the music and sound retailer has the largest circulation of any trade magazine in this industry. And there's good reason for that. The retailer has broken more of this industry's major news stories and product introductions than any other. And the editors are plugged into what's happening with today's independent music dealer. The music and sound retailer is hands down the most read dealer magazine in the business. Time to check in with the folks from NAM and see what's going on. Melora, who did you get? Okay guys, I'm about to track down Scott Robertson who is the Director of Public Relations for NAM. Now, the guys at the retailer speak so highly of Scott and are so impressed by how he managed to stay on top of all things NAM and then communicate that to the members and of course the press. This guy's pretty incredible. I'm going to find out from Scott what events we can look forward to at this year's NAM. We have so many great events on Friday. Let me just tell you about it. First of all, we have the Living Legends Jam as the show is wrapping up. Make sure you check out some of the some of the you know, great players you know throughout the, the years. I would start listing names, but I would it would take me you know three minutes to finish it. Come check out the Living Legends Jam on the main lobby stage on Friday night. Also, right as you, you finish with that, walk on over to the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus. They're celebrating their 15th year anniversary, and they've got Bootsy Collins and uh, all kinds of uh, a great concert and a great party going on Friday night as well. Also. On Friday night, we have the Tech Awards, and Steve Vai is going to be playing over there. Weird Al Yankovic so over, over there. Tickets still available for that event uh, from the Tech Foundation. Uh, Saturday night, also lots of great stuff going on. We've got the Celebrity Jam. All kind, you know, Celebrity Jam is cool. It's going to be anchored by our friends from the band from TV, and that's a band of movie actors and and television actors who play music just for fun. And they've got some extra special st uh, star power to come up on the stage this year. They played did a great show last year. They're going to do even better this year, and it's just going to be a fantastic event and if you're not too tired after all that go on over to uh, downtown Disney and check out the finals of School Jam USA which is hosted this year by Grayson Chance uh, you know fantastic up-and-coming uh, teen star so more stuff than I can even tell you about Melora but uh, all kinds of fun stuff once the show closes is everybody ready to come on board well it sure seems like it that's because onboard research is grabbing attention with its latest clip-on chromatic tuner just like the intellitouch tuner we invented in 1995 this tuner is based on our aero system it does have a color display and unlike other color tuners when you're in tune it only shows you a single color so what happens is it has an arrows that change from red to yellow and when you get in tune all you see are green arrows. Now that you've been on board, you got it. It is definitely time to be on point with On Point's OPA 28NP debuting here at the show. I am hanging at the On Point audio booth with Mike right now. Mike, I understand there's something big but little happening here this year. Talk to me about it. On Point Audio is introducing the OPA 28 MP, which is a dual 8 inch coaxial array, and it uses our narrow profile drivers that deliver an incredible 127 dB of acoustic output from a box that's only 7.3 inches wide. It has a plethora of inserts so that it can be used for fixed installations or it's perfect for any small scale live applications. But again, 127 dB output from a box that's barely bigger than a shoebox is an absolutely incredible engineering feat. St. Louis
Louis Music pulls into Union Station with a new in-house design line of accessories that includes straps, gig bags, and tuners. St. Louis's Union Station is, of course, a National Historic Landmark that was once the world's largest and busiest train station. It also is what inspired the product category's name. Uh, Union Station is a brand new line for St. Louis Music. It's a line of combo accessories. We do gig bags, we do straps, we're making a line of tuners all designed in-house by ourselves. This is a USB uh, 25E, it's a 25 millimeter duo form construction gig bag, so it has a uh, 10 millimeter high density form. It's made from 1860 Dernier, sort of ballistic uh, polyester, so it's very hard wearing. Has a base protector here, backpack straps, lumbar support, and it's got uh, reflective piping, so it's gonna get you seen at night and keep you safe. Lots more news to come, including word of a great way to beat the MI spy. And also word on who's this year's winner of the Music and Sound Awards Lifetime Achievement Award. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. Audix is one of the most recognized microphone companies in the industry. Visit us in Hall A, booth 6976 for your chance to win a BP7 Band Pack Pro, seven essential mics that every band must have. Check out the new TM1 Plus measurement mic, the F5 Cab Grabber Combo, and the DP Quad and FP Quad, two of the most convenient and effective ways to mic a drum kit. The AKG DMS70. It's license-free and digital, so only the people who need to hear it can hear it, and with no interference. The DMS-70 from AKG, a whole new way to listen to a microphone. Drop by and see more from AKG at booth 7800. Retailers, stop by George L's booth 5820 or any co-sponsor for an entry form to our pedal board treasure hunt. You could go home with a pedal board full of new treasures. Happy 40th anniversary, George L's. Hey, Funkateers, uh, Bootsy Collins here, baby. And I heard you want to play bass and you want to be cool. Then you need to check out my DR Strings. DR Strings. See you there. Hi, I'm Yul Jabara, CEO of Galaxy Audio. Our family business has grown into much more than hotspots. Please stop by our booth 6200 and check out our very popular wireless personal monitors. Take a walk through the booth and ask for one of our cool gifts. Check out the smallest strobe tuner ever made. The Strobo Clip tunes with the same amazing accuracy as all Peterson tuners. Carbon fiber stainless steel and tunings for 29 instruments makes this the best clip on tuner available. Peterson Tuners, 5990. Eminent Speaker has launched three advanced high-power additions to the Professional Series. They are the Impero 12A, 15A, and 18A. Advancements include a half-inch thick by 7.5-inch diameter machine top plate, one-piece machine T-yoke, and a four-inch deep fiberglass voice coil. Uh, we're using water-resistant parts. Uh, for, we're going to be ready for outdoor use. Uh, this is a really step up for, for Eminence it's in the high power woofer market. These features combine with an ultra linear long excursion suspension and bump motor assembly. This allows the Impero series to move serious air and generate serious SPL while handling tremendous amounts of power. At this show, Galaxy Audio is introducing new microphone products and a new upper management team. Yes, let's start with the upper management team. The president and founder of this company, Brock Jabara, has passed the reins of Galaxy Audio to the next generation, his sons, Yule and Bacchus. I have Yule with me right now. Yule, first, I want to say that I've heard that you, know, you and your brother have considerably grown the company over the past few years. Obviously, you're deserving of the positions. Congratulations. You. You're welcome. But let's talk about product. I want to know about the CBM microphone. Like, what does CBM stand for and what makes this product special? CBM stands for Carbon Boom Microphone. It's a carbon fiber microphone on a long stick. Uh, we have two different models available. We have a half inch diameter microphone capsule as well as another model that has three interchangeable capsules which include an Omni, a cardioid, and a super cardioid uh, mic element. Sonas Limited with U.S. distributor Peterson Electro Musical Products is highlighting the Wahoo Wah filter pedal for guitar and bass. It's got two awesome sounding analog filters that are digitally controlled. Because it's got two filters you can create lovely evolving sonic textures and get very vocal tones from it. Because it's digitally controlled you can store presets so you can go from a standard wah pedal to a bubbly funk bass straight to synth bass and then to talking guitar. It's packed with innovations. For example we use our well-known pitch tracking technology so 
so that edge bend can be used to control the filter sweep. We've developed a true transparent true bypass circuit that gives you all the benefits of true bypass switching without the usual clicks and pops. And we've developed a new type of pedal sensor, so you can get very fine precision control on the pedal, but it can't wear out and it can't go scratchy. The music and sound retailer's MI Spy column is known throughout the industry as the hottest read in MI trade publishing each month. Every retailer wants a good review from the MI Spy, but what can your store do to guarantee one? Well, right here at NAM, music and sound retailer editor Dan Parisi and a retail panel will be conducting a session under the Idea Center program. It's called How to Get an A from MI Spy. And if you're a music products retailer, you have to be there. It's scheduled for Saturday from noon to one in the NAM Idea Center, booth 5501 in Hall B. We'll be right back with our final segment of the day, right after this. PV's goal has been from the first to be better, build a better product. Making good products at fair and reasonable prices, that's where expertise comes in. The best is yet to come. That's what keeps me going. BC Ridge Guitars at the Hanser Booth 4868. infused his tone mojo into the new Overdose and Holy Driver Pure Analog Pedals. Destined to become instant classics, these tone machines set a new standard for overdrive and distortion. Check out these pedals and Eggnator's award-winning tube amps in booth 5952 Hall B. Welcome back. Let's take our final trip of the day to the show floor to see Melora Donahue. What's up, Melora? Yamaha has turned up the volume. That's what's up, Jill, and it is all about their new DXR and DXS series of speakers. I have John Shower with me right now. John, I, you know, there's been a lot of excitement about the expansion of the DX series of speakers, and I'm glad you guys got these here in time for the show. But, you know, tell me, what makes this product so exciting? Well, oh, these, these products um, are some of the longest in their development time of anything we've ever developed. Uh, we quickly found out from our friends in Japan when we started development that uh, we could use the resources of Nexo, our, our sister company in France. So we got the pros working on these cabinets from the get-go. So we were able to eke every bit of acoustic performance out of the cabinets. And then our friends in Japan finished up with the DSP, and now we've got the ice on the cake. A little bit of both. RCF's IRA series of studio monitors is showing off at this year's NAM. They're designed for near-field applications, equally suited for the home or recording studio. The speaker models in the line are the IRA 5, 6, and 8. They're complemented by the IRA 10 sub. All feature class AB amplification, a composite fiberglass woofer, a constant directivity silk dome tweeter. We are very pleased with this series and looking forward to their release in March of 2012. 
new native plugin has been introduced by Eventide here in Anaheim. It's their H3000 Factory Ultra Harmonizer. It's based on the Mod Factory 1 and 2 and Patch Factory algorithms from the H3000 DSE rack processor from the early 1990s. It features all the original presets from these algorithms, along with many new ones. It's time to catch up with the retailer's Dan Farisi, who has been rounding up the winning manufacturers to get their reaction to having earned their music and sound awards as voted on by this industry's dealers. I'm here with Brian from Taylor Guitars to present the Music and Sound Award for Best Acoustic Guitar of 2011. It's Taylor's Model 814 CE Acoustic Electric. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you very much. Uh, we're, it's a real privilege to receive this, and uh, we're thankful to all our dealers and customers and fans of Taylor Worldwide. Uh, we love guitars and the people that play them, and so this is just kind of a great acknowledgement of that. Thank you very much. The Best DJ Product of 2011 Award for Gemini's CDJ 700. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's a total honor and uh, a prestigious award to receive. This award uh, is, is not easy to earn, and, and we're Beyond belief, I mean, it's a it's a, a great great uh, uh, day for us at Gemini. This is the LED Bright Pack. It's in our series of all-inclusive uh, packages for bands and mobile DJs. Thanks to all of our dealers for voting for it. That's lighting product of the year. And Billy, uh, rep of the year. It's uh, yeah. second year in a row now. Yeah. Very thankful to have that. And of course, Dan with an award for which Music Corps has become known. Yep. Well, we're very honored to, to win this award for outstanding community service. And I can tell you that the passion of helping our customers and their customers and consumers to get involved in music is something that's very important to all of us. So many of the, of the programs that we do are designed to, uh, to make more people able to participate in music. Thanks to everybody uh, throughout the whole company that that uh, pulled together to make that happen. Yamaha has won our best drum set of the year for 2011 award for the Club Custom Series. Congratulations, Dave. Oh, thank you very much. It's very much an honor to have the award. It's a great drum set and we really, really appreciate the award and uh, the, the recognition for uh, a quality product. Best power amp for the IPR 3000 amp and best music software multimedia for PV's Revolver Mark 3.5. Congratulations, Hartley. Thank you. Uh, you know, we're always trying to come up with something new to build a better mousetrap and we think that, um, you know, Revolver is just an unbelievable, unbelievable piece of uh, of uh, software and of course the IPR I mean you know I used to think it was a great thing to, to be able to offer to the marketplace power for a dollar a watt now it's 17 cents a watt that's progress the best speaker of 2011 it's for QSC's KLA line array congratulations Phil uh, thank you very much Dan um, well wow, this is really an honor and really appreciate everybody that uh, voted for us you know there's a lot of folks at QSC that made it happen so on behalf of Everybody at QSC, we want to say thank you very much for this award. Two big awards for Fender in the guitar category this year. Best electric guitar, you got the Pawn Shop Series guitars. And for best bass, you got the Blacktop Precision Bass. Congratulations, Justin. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to all the dealers who voted. Thanks to Music and Sound. And uh, thanks from the 2012 NAMM show. Um, let's have a great year this year in 2012. Thank you so much. Another award for Fender this year, Best Instrument Amplifier, Fender's Mustang Series. Congratulations, Shane. Thank you very much, Dan. I really appreciate this. We had a great year. We're looking forward to a good 2012. Best new cabled microphone is Shores Beta 181, wireless system is Shores PGX Digital Wireless, and product of the year, the biggest product award of the year is Shores PSM 1000. Wow, congratulations, Mark. Oh, thank you so much, and thanks to everyone that voted for us with uh, Music and Sound Retailer Magazine. We want to thank you for all of your long-term support for Sure Products. We're quite honored to win these awards, and we're staying committed to bringing you the finest products in pro audio. I'm here with Rick Young from Yamaha, the single biggest award, the Music and Sound Award for Best Manufacturer of the Year. This year it's Yamaha. Congratulations, Rick. Oh, thanks very much, Dan. Really appreciate that. You know, it's been an interesting couple of years that we've all had in the music industry. And uh, one of the things that, that we decided early on was that research and development and making sure that we have quality products uh, and uh, innovative products 
and the amount of service that we have to our dealers had to remain high. No matter what changes we made, that was one of those things that we thought was critically important to make sure that we uh, kept the, the, uh, the feeling that, that we have for our dealers and they have for us. So uh, thanks very much. This really means a lot. Tomorrow we'll have video clips of the winning dealers of this, our 26th Music and Sound Awards presentations. We will also have a very special award to give out. It's the Music and Sound Lifetime Achievement Award. This is awarded to an individual who has had a long-lasting, continuous impact on the music retail and consumer market. Any ideas on who the person should be? Well, tune in tomorrow and find out. Well, that's it for day two of Convention TV at NAM. And again, we'll be back tomorrow with an all new show. We'll have lots of new product news and celebrity appearances for you. I'm Jill Nicolini. And before we sign off, remember, TV works. After all, you're watching it. You're watching me right now, right? Yeah. Well, we thank you for that. And again, we'll see you tomorrow. DDJ Ergo. Play out more. Check out Pioneer DJ at booth 5810. Yusin Ketna proudly presents Tubemeister. The first stem that lets you rock on stage, play at home and record at night. Experience the all new Tubemeister family in Hall A, booth 6555. Does your drummer always want to change their monitor mix? Is your vocalist constantly asking for more me? The new Q-Mix iPhone app for Persona Studio Live Digital Mixers lets up to 10 band members adjust their own individual monitor mix. Q-Mix, another Studio Live innovation from Personas. A lot of time and energy into researching which components make the best snare drum sounds for each musical genre. We call it the Sound Lab Project. It's a brand new line for Tama Drums. Check them out.